So in this next problem, we're going to uh, evaluate a logarithm. A lot of times you'll be asked, what is log base 2 of 8, like I have in this example right here. And you'll be told to figure it out uh, without a calculator. It'll say something like, evaluate the following logarithms without a calculator by hand. And what that means is, uh, for one thing, it should be relatively straightforward once you understand what logarithms are. Uh, so let's go through some of these examples right here, and I'll just talk us through it. The first one, log of three, log base three of one. Um, we don't even have to think about this one, and I'll tell you why. Uh, it's equal to zero, because any time you have logarithm with a one inside the argument right there, the answer will always be zero. And the reason for that is, if you think about what a logarithm is, remember how we can change it to exponentials? Um, forget that for a moment. What we're saying here is three, we'll call this x, 3 to the something, 3 to the x, equals 1. So what's the exponent required to turn 3 into 1? Well, uh, we can try a bunch of things. 3 to the 1 equals 3. That's not it. 3 squared equals 9. No good. Uh, 3 to the... I'm already 9. 3 to the negative 1. Remember what that is from exponents? That's 1 third. Okay. The only thing that works is 3 to the 0 which is equal to 1. This is one of the properties of exponents. And because it's a property of exponents, it turns into a property of logarithms. So whatever the base is, in this case it's 3, whatever the base is, the answer is 0. You could have another problem that said log of a billion or something. Log of a billion. If the argument equals 1, it's still going to be equal to 0. It doesn't matter what the base is. Okay, so let's move on to some of these other guys. Log base 2 of 8. What is that equal to? And you can just sort of think these through. Sometimes it helps to turn it into an exponential equation and, and put an x here. So log base 2 of 8 equals x. What's x? Uh, and you might say, okay, well, 2 to the x equals 8. And uh, then you look at this and think about it. Well, what, what is 2 to the x? Maybe 2 to the 1? Uh, no, that's 2. 2 to the 2, that's 4. Uh, 2 to the 3, there we go, we got it. 2 to the 3 is 8. So that means this x value here, this x value is 3. 2 to the third power equals 8. So that's one way you can solve these things. You just sort of uh, try to figure it out in your head, uh, rewrite it as an exponent equation. But what you can always think about is, uh, here, here's another way to look at it, uh, and I'll do this example with log base 3 of 81. So I put an x over here. I'm trying to figure out what x is to evaluate the logarithm. And we can rewrite this as 3 to the x equals 81. Well, another way to do it is to say, if I'm asked to do this by hand, in other words, without a calculator, what that's telling me is this 81 term over here, it's got to be related to 3 somehow. It's not going to be some ugly decimal. It's going to be something like 3 to a certain power. Okay, 3 to a certain power equals 81. Uh, and it's not 1. Uh, it's not 2. 2. You could try to factor 81 out, right? 81 is 9 times 9. And if we make a little factor tree here, uh, each of those 9s is going to be a 3. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 3s. So you can use factor trees also to figure this out. And 3 to the x equals 3 to the 4. Well, by there's another rule where if the bases are equal, then the exponents must be equal. Uh, it doesn't, it comes up from time to time. Uh, but what this means is if 3 to the x equals 3 to the 4, then x equals 4. Okay, and that would be uh, how you evaluate this logarithm. So we would say log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Okay, that would be the answer to this one. And all of these things are basically the same idea, whether we're turning these into exponential equations to think about them that way, or just evaluating them directly, saying 2 to the what power equals 8. Uh, they're all the same idea of just practicing that definition of what a logarithm is um, and maybe using a factor tree or, or whatever you like, but um, just practicing that definition. And we will get into more complicated examples later, but this is just a starter.